dad. It's Pat. Pat. Is Frank awake yet? Not yet, but he's better, Da. His fever's down, and he's really better. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Dad? <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I'm right here, and, uh, and so is your mother, so, so tell us all of it. <laughs> okay, well, essentially what happened is that the new antibiotic, the cephalant, is taking hold. His fever went down during the night, and he's breathing a lot easier. I was with him until just now. And he's still unconscious, but I think he's uh, changed it, Dad. I really think he's going to make it. Oh, bless you, Patrick, and bless Ed Coleridge. He's come back to us. Yeah, that's what Mary says. I just sent her home with Dee. They were up here half the night. Mary came in around midnight, and she sat and talked with Frank while he was still fighting to live. She was telling him about the kids putting campaign posters up in the back of the church, and we both got to laughing so much I thought he'd have to open his eyes. Listen, he must have heard her, thank God. <laughs> oh, and how was Delia? Oh, she's very happy, but, you know, kind of shaky. She's tired, and she's scared. I'm, I'm sure she just doesn't want to get her hopes up. Oh, poor child. Well, we'll put her right to bed. Yeah, listen, Patrick, when do you get off? Because we got to celebrate. I'm off duty in a couple hours. Mary was talking about getting a big breakfast up for everybody. Scrambled eggs with ketchup and all the leftover potato salad she can find. <laughs> There'll be no leftovers this beautiful morning. We'll have ourselves a real treat. Terrific. <laughs> well, I'm going to get back to Frank now, so I'll see you later. Yeah, but listen, uh, Pat, give Frank our love, will you? Right. I will. <laughs> Bye. Oh, darling, darling, darling. Oh, John, John. Oh. You know what I feel like doing? What? I feel like marching right in there and telling little John. Oh. <laughs> Go dance him around and sing him a good song and tell him his dad is coming back to him. God willing, he will be. It wasn't his time, John. No? If he had the strength to fight till I found that antibiotic, he's going to make it the rest of the way. <laughs> Can you imagine? What? Just imagine when he wakes up. What? Won't it be something? Telling him about all the days that he's missed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to talk in shifts. Yeah, but to think of him hearing us again. Every step of his getting better is going to be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Oh, but right now all I can feel is the joy of the world. The fact that he can take an easy breath. You know something, lady? I'm going to have the straight of ten men today. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. Oh. <laughs> of course, there's lots around here that needs catching up on. <laughs> oh. But right now, what? we'll give ourselves a royal breakfast. Good idea. Come on, let's go on down. And we'll have uh, muffins and jam, huh? Ah, <laughs> yes. And ham and eggs. Good. And fried potatoes. Good, and porridge. And, uh... And sausage and a bit of our best in the coffee, yeah? <laughs> and pig's feet, cold meat, dumplings boiled in a sheet, <laughs> mock and birds and ostriches <laughs> and ginger bear and tea. I am a dollar <laughs> I told the kids that Father McShane really did want Frank to win, only they couldn't put a candidate's poster on the confessional door. Uh, Not only was it a church-state problem, but it was a terrible distraction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Frank is that one, huh? Last night, I almost thought he could. Listen, Pat, when do you think Frank will wake up? Well, it's kind of hard to say. Once pneumonia's cleared up, though, he could come around any time. Oh, I want to be there when he does. Oh, John, let's both be there to welcome you. Well, we'll try. But if he decides to wake up before we get there, we're out of luck, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Pat, it looks like he's really going to make it this time, huh? His chances are real good. But a full recovery from the paralysis, uh, that's where we run into the unknowns. Well, Frank can run the campaign from his own hospital room. The physical therapist over there could get a stone to move. <laughs> I've seen it. You wouldn't believe how many different ways there are waking up a muscle. <laughs> and in January, he's going to stand up, raise his right hand, and take that oath of office. I know it for sure. Mary, hey, tell me something. Where do you get your energy? Mm -hmm. I mean, at this hour of the morning, without a wink of sleep. Hmm? Tell me that. 
I believe it's in the jeans. Oh, I should hope so. <laughs> Do you want to go upstairs and take a couple of hours rest? Delia, close your eyes the minute she hit the bed. I'd have to run around the blocks five or six times before I could go to sleep. <laughs> Adrenaline. That's what keeps all the Riverside interns on their feet five. for 20 hours at a stretch. Adrenaline and coffee. A cup of each. Coffee <laughs> coming up. Bob, you want some more? Oh, no, Johnny, not today. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that's the first meal I've enjoyed since Frank's accident. Yeah. I, uh, I want you to be finishing those eggs that are on that plate, because the family does not finish what's on the table. Uh, I have to be, be going invited, out and inviting strangers, strangers in. Strangers in from the <laughs> 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 You. <laughs> Maybe you just say that to me that everybody has dinner here. Oh, well. You, Bob, and my boy, Frank, have such good appetites that it's one of the small pleasures of my life to be feeding. Here's to the day. Frank's back at this table. Ah. We mm. love him. And we're going to have him back with us soon. Ah, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. What? Flowers for me, Brian. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. oh. 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 Hey, darling. Oh, How my. did you know that I wanted every single one of these today? Ah. I had a feeling. Oh. <laughs> Johnny, these got to see this. I'm going to get it. All right, bring it out. Oh, oh roses. Oh, look, everyone smell them, smell them. Oh, oh have you ever oh, seen so them. many beautiful flowers and oh. lying there like they just fell from heaven? You should have seen a look on her face when they did. Faith, I will never forget it. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get some of these things into water. Oh, good John, help us. All right, I'll help. We I'll need help. those vases. I'll the big ahead. vases that are behind the bar. Oh. Faith. Mm. You're a lovely sweet child. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, where can we put these in? Oh, pictures. Yeah. Where did you ever find so many flowers? Well, in the backyard and Mr. Divicky's shop. Mm. I asked him for white roses, and when I told him about Frank, he just piled flowers on flowers. He said he knows about Maeve and flowers. I guess you know better than anybody. <laughs> well, Maeve is responsible for my green thumb. Dad was right. You were very sweet to do this. I just wanted to share some of your happiness about Frank. I didn't like to make predictions, but I think Frank is going to regain consciousness today. After I get a couple hours of sleep, I'm going to uh, go back over there and check on him. I'd love to be there when he comes around. I was beginning to wonder if he ever would. Mm. Isn't it incredible, Faith, the way he hung on? <laughs> you know, I was so afraid they wouldn't find the right antibiotic. Mm. Would you like for me to call you when he's close to waking? Yeah. You know, it really mean a lot to me to be able to be there with your family and everything. Well, I think you should be. Are, are you uh, on duty this weekend? Uh, no, just this morning. You can get me at home any time, though. Oh, Pat, I forgot. I promised Bucky I'd go out on the houseboat with him. Oh, well, when will you be back? Well, not till tomorrow. I'm really sorry. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Yeah, I guess not. I've uh, got to see that houseboat someday with you. And Bucky, of course. It's really lovely. Yeah. Here. So nice. Oh. And what a beautiful job the both of you have done. <laughs> I wanted to give you white roses ever since I was little, and you told me about your first communion. Oh, when I had my new shoes, mm -hmm. but no flowers. Well, it was winter, and there were no flowers in the garden, and they had enough money to buy me shoes, but nothing left over for flowers. And you told me you had to walk in a long line to the church, and a little girl turned around and said, you don't have any flowers, and you shed Keep your eyes to the front of you. <laughs> well, I was very stern. That was my favorite part of the story. <laughs> oh, I don't believe I've ever had white roses <laughs> before. And uh, this, the daisy. Where, daisy, there's a daisy. Uh, is for my favorite teacup. Ah, yes. Remember? Sure, you'd sit with your nose almost in the tea. 
Looking at the cup <laughs> on the inside where there were so many little daisies. That's one of the main reasons I just had to come over here every day after school. <sighs> and then finally, you drink the tea. <laughs> I never told you this. <laughs> what? That you hated tea. You knew? <laughs> of course. <laughs> when I found that one out, that's when I gave you the cup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Would Dealey be coming down? Oh, she a little Johnny fast asleep. Mm -hmm. Faith, I wish I had a picture of you tossing those flowers. Well, it just sort of happened. Where's Mayor? Oh, when last seen, she was out in the bar putting some flowers in the window. Maybe I've got to go back to the hospital now. I think I'm on duty soon. I'm so glad about Frank. Oh, thanks for coming, darling. Mm -hmm. Don't be a stranger. Pat? I hope he wakes up soon. Oh, thanks. If I don't see you, have a good time. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye, darling. Goodbye, hon. Okay. okay. See you, Faith. Mary, there's no sense in going down to headquarters. Why not just sack out here? Daisy. Maybe I look pretty terrible, but I feel terrific. <laughs> Come on, you look great. Um, just you were up last night. You need your rest. I'm not tired. What I really want to do is go and make Frank wake up. I'm so excited I can't sit still, let alone rest. <laughs> All right, come with me. I'm going to go downtown and do some goldfish shopping before I go to work. Goldfish? For little John. He needs a pet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, I don't know one goldfish from another. I think all goldfish look the same. Listen, would you mind if I didn't come along? I want to make a couple of calls and let people know that Frank's better. Yeah, sure, sure. You have to go with me when I get him a dog, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop by the hospital later. Good, I'll see you there. I gotta see your mom and dad. Vanelli. Brian. What are you doing up so early in the morning? Why was your phone so busy uh, so early in the morning? Well, as a matter of fact, I was just talking to my editor. I wanted to know when I was going to turn something in on the Frank Ryan story. Uh, how's he doing today? Jack, he's better. His fever's down, and Pat thinks the drug's really going to work. <sighs> Mary, I'm glad for you. And Frank, everybody. I, I bet the whole block's celebrating. Just about. What are you doing? Well, I just finished a huge breakfast, and I'm on my way to campaign headquarters. Why don't you come down here and have a cup of coffee with me? I'd, I'd like to hear all the details. Okay. What's the matter? Just coffee and details, right? Right. Are you dressed yet? Uh, no, but, but I swear I'll be <laughs> brushed and combed like a schoolboy by the time you get here. <laughs> Hurry. Okay, bye-bye. That's uh, overhead cabinet in the uh, in the little supply room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I went in there for about three bottles of alcohol. Left my eye on the door. <laughs> Somebody check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, it's okay. Where are you packing? Getting ready for a little trip on the houseboat. <laughs> Big plans, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I don't want to plan so much for just a, a few hours, you know, a few days on a houseboat. You see. Uh, I'm having a guest, uh, mm -hmm. this uh, girl I really like, and uh, actually, I never thought she'd agree to come. But now that I know she is, I want everything to be perfect. We're gonna, the day's gonna be sunny and beautiful, you know? And uh, we're gonna take the house butt out on the river, and we're gonna eat and talk, and uh, just enjoy ourselves completely. Mm. Does that sound great? It's great, Bucky, but I got bad news for you. Oh, no. Yep, schedule's been changed. You gotta work tonight, Dr. Carter. You're on duty. 
Oh, no, Clem, come on. Look, it's happened before, and I've broken other dates, and I understand about an intern's duty, but, but please not tonight. Come on, please don't do this to me. Bucky, I'm sorry. But it's not fair. I mean, this could be one of the most important events of my career. Okay, okay, okay. Now, you could take all the plans that you have, not change a single one of them, and just move them up a day. No. Move them up a week. No. Because she has a whole week to think about it. She won't come. I mean, she's not crazy about me right now. That's what this is all about. It's a chance for her to start liking me as more than a pal. If I don't have this time off, Clem, I'll be your pal forever. Oh, come on, come on. Don't, don't put yourself down like that. The lady will give you a chance. Hmm? I think this is my last chance. Last chance. Well, under such extraordinary circumstances, I guess I'll have to make one of my rare exceptions, and I'll find someone else. Hey, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hey, look, any, anything I can do for you, just say the word, okay? Well, just you and your lady have a beautiful evening. I don't know what will happen. Beautiful. But, uh, <laughs> things have got to look up, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see you, baby. Hey, Bucky. Hey, It's terrific. It really is. Oh, thank you. I wish I had some champagne or flowers or something to sort of mark the occasion, but all I could come up with was uh, this. <laughs> it came on a bottle of detergent. I love it. Uh, and, and, and I manage a pot of coffee. Ah, uh, have you got a vase? Um, uh, how about a, an olive jar? Oh, perfect. We will have a centerpiece for our breakfast. I brought you some of our own party. My mother's best. Biscuits. Bring the butter. Right. So, uh, tell me all about it. Well, when you and Jumbo dropped me off, I was just going to go in and look in on him. But Dee and Pat were there, and I couldn't bear to leave. So we took turns looking at, at, at Frank and talking to him. And around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, his temperature subsided, his breathing got easier, and he was better. So he's out of the woods, as far as the pneumonia is concerned. That's what they think. And uh, what do they think about... Well, uh, the rest of it. He's not going to be paralyzed, Jack. You're not even a little worried? No. I believe he's going to get well. If you were afraid, would you tell me? <sighs> yes, I'm not. It's a kind of faith, Vanilli. I'm trying to be honest mm. with you. I haven't had much sleep since the accident happened. And when I do, I wake up every hour on the hour, trying to remember something. Something good, something bad? I don't know. Something terribly important. Maybe that was my fear for Frank. Maybe. Maybe I was just trying to think of the right drug for him. Mm. Sometimes you do appear to uh, be convinced that you have all the answers. <sighs> now, I have something to tell you. What? I have never in all my life tasted anything like these biscuits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've had at least a dozen for breakfast, but I want you to taste just this one. Huh? Open. There now. Eat that with your coffee. Did the um, good sisters uh, teach you how to put off a man so nicely? No, the mm -hmm. good brothers, Frank and Pat. <laughs> You, uh, you haven't left the bodyguard out in the hall by any chance? Oh, why, Finelli? Mm. You know I trust you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, thought you did. Mary Ryan. I, I don't get it. Don't you? You're not gonna play games with me. Come on, I'm too old for this kind of nonsense. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you want me to go through the whole ritual, don't you? You want me to bring you a wilted gardenia on Saturday night and, and, and sit around in the parlor with your parents and, and listen to the phonograph? We, we have to make out in the balcony at the movies, <laughs> then, then have a hamburger when that's not at all we wanted to do? Oh, I don't know. Tell me more. I don't believe it. <laughs> you want to be courted. You got lazy, Finelli. They've spoiled you. Who? Oh. The off-Broadway actress, the magazine writer, the blonde lady who works in the mayor's office. Mm, who have you been talking to? To quote Jumbo, I got connections. Ah, uh, how well you, uh, 
you may have been uh, misinformed. Mm. And besides, none of that has anything to do with you and me. And if I'm reading you correctly, what you really, honestly, genuinely want is some kind of step-by-step -step mating ritual. The steps are what make it fun. Yeah. Tell me you don't mean it. Oh, I mean it. For a first step, that was just fine. Okay. But I'm not gonna wait very long for step two. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.